Hello! Welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're analyzing a dialogue to practice our American pronunciation and intonation. The police officer asks a question. What about the second suspect? This is an information question. It starts with what? Question word. So the intonation goes down at the end. What about the second suspect? What about the second suspect? We stress important words. The question word is important. We stress what? And second. Second is an adjective. We stress adjectives. What about the second suspect? What about the second suspect? Pronunciation differences? What about? We change the T to a D because it's between vowels. What a, what about, what about? The T is a stop T, so we put the tongue up and we stop the air. About, not about, but about. What about? Link to the next word, the. What about the? What about the? About the? About the? What about the second suspect? We stress second, and we have ND. You don't hear the D. With ND together, you don't hear the D. Second. The tongue comes up a little bit, but you don't really hear it. Second. Second. What about the second suspect? Suspect. This is a person. It's a noun. So the stress is on the first syllable. Suspect. Not suspect. Suspect is a verb. This is a noun, suspect. What about the second suspect? Suspect. CT, we don't pronounce suspect, so it's a stop T. Suspect. The tongue comes up. Suspect. Suspect. What about the second suspect? What about the second suspect? Sophia answers, he was average height, about 5'9". He was average height, about 5'9". So, the intonation goes up before a comma. So, he was average height, about 5'9". At the end of a positive statement, the intonation goes down at the end. So, up before a comma and down at the end. He was average height, about 5'9". He was average height, about 5'9". We stress important words. Average is the important word because average is an adjective. He was average height, about 5'9". He was average height, about 5'9". Pronunciation changes. He was, he was, was is not stressed, so you hear he was, he was, he was. The sound was is a little shorter. The uh sound is shorter. He was, when you link it, he was, he was, because it's not stressed. He was, he was average height. Average. We don't say average. It's not three syllables. It's two syllables. Average. Average. He was average height. About 5'9". Average height. Stop T. We don't say height. We say height. Put the tongue up and stop the air. Height. He was average height. About 5'9". About. Another stop T. We don't say about. We say about. About 5'9". Five feet and nine inches, you don't have to say feet or inches, only five nine. So together, he was average height, about five nine. He was average height, about five nine. And Sophia continues, he had short, straight brown hair. He had short, straight brown hair. It's a positive statement, the intonation goes down at the end. He had short, straight brown hair. He had short, straight brown hair. We stress important words. The adjectives, short, straight, brown. He had short, straight, brown hair. He had short, straight, brown hair. Pronunciation changes. Had. Stop D. He had. Not had. 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 Stop the air with a D. Had. Also, he had. He had. You can pronounce it. He had or he had. He had. You don't hear the H. He had. He had. He had short, straight brown hair. He had short, straight brown hair. Stop T, short. Stop T, straight. He had short, straight brown hair. He had short, straight brown hair. Let's practice. What about the second suspect? What about the second suspect? Very good. He was average height, about 5'9". He was average height, about 5'9".
He had short, straight brown hair. He had short, straight brown hair. Very good. The police officer asks another question. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? The intonation goes down at the end because it's an information question. It starts with what. When you start with a question word, what, where, when, it's an information question, and the intonation goes down at the end. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? We stress important words. What is the important word? It's the question word. So stress what. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Pronunciation changes. When you say what was, it's a stop T. You can stop it with your tongue up, what was, or you can stop in your throat, what was, what was, what was he wearing, what was he wearing, or with your tongue up like this, what, what was he wearing, what was he wearing. Pronunciation, was he, he is not stressed, so the H is silent, was he. Was z. Remember, was has a zebra sound. Z was, not was, but was. Was z. Was z. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Sophia answers. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green T-shirt. The stress goes down at the end because it's a positive statement. And. The stress goes up before a comma, so he was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. So the intonation goes down at, and a green t-shirt, but it goes up before the commas. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. We stress important words. Verbs, wearing, and adjectives. Suede. Blue, green, adjectives you stress. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. Pronunciation differences. He was, because was is not stressed, you hear he was, he was, he was. You link the words and it's not stressed. He was. So it's shorter. It's not he was, he was, he was. He was, he was wearing suede boots. Suede is a stop D. We don't say suede, d, stop, suede, suede, link to the next word, suede boots, suede boots. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. Shirt is a stop T. We don't say shirt, shirt, stop the air, a green t-shirt. Again, he was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. Let's practice. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Very good. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. Very good. Let's practice. Question. What about the second suspect? What about the second suspect? Very good. The answer? He was average height, about 5'9". He was average height, about 5'9". Very good. He had short, straight brown hair. He had short, straight brown hair. Very good. What was he wearing? What was he wearing? Very good. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. Very good. What about the second suspect? He was average height, about 5'9". He had short, straight brown hair. What was he wearing? He was wearing suede boots, blue jeans, and a green t-shirt. Today we're going to talk about why, in these questions, the H is silent in he. We say E, not he. Silent H. And why the intonation goes down at the end of the question. Let's find out. 
These are information questions. They start with a question word. What, where, when, why. If you start with a question word, it's an information question, and the intonation always goes down at the end. Example, where. Where is he going? Where is he going? Example, where is he going? It's an information question because you have a question word, where. So the intonation goes down at the end. Where is he going? The important words, where. But he is not an important word, so it's not stressed. It's not stressed. We don't pronounce the H. It's silent. So you hear where Z E. But put it together. Link your words. Where is he? Where's he going? We don't say going. We say going, going. Where's he going? Together, link the words. Where's he going? He's going to the store. Where is he? Where is contraction? Where's? Where's he? Like one word. Where's he? Wh. Air. Where. Z. Where's. Where's. E. Where's he? Where's he? Link the sounds. Where's he? Where's he going? Where's he? Where's he going? Let's practice the question. Ask the question. Where is he going? He's going to the store. Ask the question. He's going to the store. Example, where's he flying? So together, link the words. Where's he? E, where's he? Flying. Not flying, but flying. Flying. Where's he flying? He's flying around the world. Ask the question. Where is he flying? He's flying around the world. Ask the question. He's flying around the world. Example. The question, what is he doing? We have two pronunciations. Here, there's no contraction. Just every word. What is he doing? Pronunciation. What is? The T changes to a D because it's between two vowels. So it's would. What is? What is? He is not an important word. It's not stressed. So the H is silent. What is he? Is he? What is he? What is he doing? What is he doing? Doing? Doing. What is he doing? This is an information question. You start with a question word, so the intonation goes down at the end. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he? Pronunciation. What is he? Link the sounds. Link the words. What is he? Wh. Uh. Wh. D. D. Wud. Wud. I. What it? What it? Z. What is? What is? E. What is he? What is he? What is he? Pronounce it like one word. Link the sounds. What is he? What is he doing? What is he? What is he doing? Ask the question. What is he doing? He's watching TV. Ask the question. He's watching TV. Another pronunciation for what is he doing? Contraction. What is together? What's 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 he what's he? The H is silent because the word is not stressed. It's an information question, so the intonation goes down at the end. What's he doing? What's he doing? Important word. What? What is the important word? It's stress. What's he doing? He is not important. It's not stressed, so the H is silent. What's he? What's he doing? Doing or doing? Doing. What's he doing? What's he doing? What is he? What is contraction? What's? What's he? Link the sounds. What's he? What's he? Wh. Uh. Wh. T. What. S. What's? What's? E. What's he? What's he? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he? Pronounce like one word. What's he? Ask a question. What's he doing? He's watching TV. Ask a question. He's watching TV. Another example. 
What is he? Pronunciation. What? What is he? What is he? What is he watching? What is he watching? Watching or watching? What is he watching? What is he watching? Ask the question. What is he watching? He's watching a movie. Ask the question. He's watching a movie. Another example of the contraction. What is together? What's? What's? What's he? The age is silent. What's he? What's he watching? What's he watching? Ask the question. What's he watching? He's watching a movie. Ask the question. He's watching a movie. Another example of an information question. We start with a question word, why? Why is he late? Information question, the intonation goes down at the end. Why is he late? Why is he late? Why is the important word. So we stress, why? He is not stressed. So the H is silent. Why is he? Why is he? Why is he late? Why is he late? Late. The T after a vowel is a stop T. You stop the air. You put your tongue up and stop. Late. Late. We don't say late. Late. Why is he late? Why is he late? Why is he? Pronunciation together. Why is he? Wh. I. Why? Y. Why? I. Why? Why? Z. Why is? E. Why is he? Why is he? Why is he? Why is he late? Why is he late? Why is he? Ask the question. Why is he late? He woke up late. Ask the question. He woke up late. Another example of why. Why is he leaving? Why is he leaving? So pronunciation. Why is he? Is he? Why is he leaving? Leaving or leaving? Why is he leaving? Ask the question. Why is he leaving? He had an emergency. Ask the question. He had an emergency. An example. When is he coming? But we don't say it like that. We link the words together. When is he coming? We have two pronunciations. One with no contraction. When is he coming? When is the important word. Stress when. When. He is not important, so the H is silent. It's not stress. When is he? Is he? Is he? When is he coming? When is he coming? Intonation goes down at the end. It's an information question. When is he coming? Pronunciation. Coming or coming. Coming. When is he coming? When is he coming? When is he? Pronunciation. When is he? When is he? Wh. E. We. M. When. I. When. I. When. I. Z. When is. E. When is he? When is he? When is he? When is he? When is he coming? When is he coming? Ask the question. When is he coming? He's coming in five minutes. Ask the question. He's coming in five minutes. Another pronunciation for when is he coming? When is contraction? Whens? Whens? Stress on the important word. Whens? He is not important, so the H is silent. Link the words together. When Z? When Z? When's he coming? When's he coming? When is he? Contraction. When is together. When's? When's he? When's he? Wh. E. We. N. When. Z. When's. E. When's he? When's he? When's he coming? When's he coming? When's he? Ask the question. When's he coming? He'll be here in around five minutes. Ask the question. He'll be here in around five minutes. Example with when is he? Contraction. When is? Together. When's. When's. When's is the important word. It's stressed. He is not important. It's not stressed. So the H is silent. Together. When's he? When's he? When's he going to call me? 
When's he going to call me? Going to is pronounced gonna, gonna. Make the sound very short. G, 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 gonna. It's a closed sound. G, g, gonna. When's he gonna? When's he going to call me? When's he going to call me? Let's practice the question, when's he going to call me? Ask the question. When's he going to call me? He'll call you tomorrow. Ask the question. He'll call you tomorrow. So remember, with an information question, when starting with a question word, what, when, why, where, the intonation goes down at the end. What is he doing? And remember, because the question word is important, what is stressed, with he, the H is always silent. So if you have a separate, what is he doing? When is he coming? The H is silent. Or if you make contractions, what is together, what's, what's he, what's he? The H is silent there too. What's he doing? When's he coming? Today we're practicing pronunciation and intonation. So, how do you sound more fluent? To sound more fluent and natural, link your words together. We're going to practice linking the words together to sound more natural and fluent. We're going to practice with some common questions. These are information questions. With an information question, you start with a question word. Where, why, when, what. And the intonation goes down at the end. Example, when are they, link the words, when are they coming? When are they coming? The intonation goes down at the end for an information question. Let's get started. Our first example, where are they going? You don't have to say it fast to sound fluent. Just link the words together. Where are, together, where, where, where are they going? Where are they going, together, where are they going? Intonation goes down at the end. Let's look at the pronunciation of where. Where are, linked together, pronunciation, where. W. Air, where. R, where. Er, where. 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 Where are they going? Where. Where are they going? Let's practice the question. Ask the question. Where are they going? They're going to school. Ask the question. They're going to school. Example. Where are they flying? It's an information question. Starts with a question word. Where? And intonation goes down at the end. Where are they flying? Where are? Link the words. Where? Where are they flying? Where are they flying? Ask the question. Where are they flying? They're flying around the world. Ask the question. They're flying around the world. Example, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are, you hear, what are, what are, what are. Link the words, what are they doing? Doing or doing, doing sounds better. What are they doing? Let's look at the pronunciation of what are. What are, linked together, what are, what are. Wa, uh, wa, d, it's a fast d, 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 wood. Er, water, water, water. What are they doing? What are they doing? Water, what are they doing? Ask the question. What are they doing? They're cooking dinner. Ask the question. They're cooking dinner. Example, why are they running to school? Let's look at the intonation. We put stress on important words. Why, important word. The action, the verb, running, stress. Why are they running to school? Intonation goes down at the end for an information question. Why are they running to school? Sounds linked together. Why are, together, wire, wire. Why are they running to school? Why are they running to school? Link the words together. Let's look at the pronunciation of wire. Why are, linked together, Pronunciation, wire, wire. W. I, Y. Y, Y, Y. Er, wire, wire, wire. Why are they running to school? Wire. 
Why are they running to school? Let's practice the question. Ask the question. Why are they running to school? They're late for school. Ask the question. They're late for school. Example, when are they coming? Link the words when are together. When are, when are, when are they, when are they coming? Coming or coming? When are they coming? Stress the first word. It's the important word. When. When are they coming? Intonation goes down at the end. When are they coming? They'll be here in a little bit. When are linked together. Winner. Winner. Wa. Eh. We. Mm. When. Er. Winner. 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 When are they coming? Winner. When are they coming? Ask the question. When are they coming? They'll be here in a little bit. Ask the question. They'll be here in a little bit. Example. When are they going to clean? When are they going to clean? So, when are, pronounce winner, winner. Important word, when, put the stress, when. When are they going to clean? Intonation goes down at the end. When are they going to clean? Going to, we pronounce gonna, gonna. For correct pronunciation of gonna, make it very short and very close, not open, close. G, 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 gonna, gonna. When are they going to clean? When are they going to clean? They're going to clean today. Ask the question. When are they going to clean? They're going to clean today. Ask the question. They're going to clean today. Very good. Thank you for watching. And if you want to improve your pronunciation and speak more fluently, subscribe to our channel. Keep practicing.